<laughs> Hello. Hey. Welcome to another exciting episode of Video, Video Game, Game Hour, Hour Live. Live. I know we're doing fist pumps. Which we always do yeah. fist pumps. Oh. Right. Amateur. I wasn't invited to the. Uh, I'm Peyton, and I've got a couple of fresh faces here with me. Why don't you guys hey. introduce yourselves? I'm Faraz. I'm Caitlin. And we are playing Tokyo Jungle the post-apocalyptic Pomeranian survival simulator. I love that it's a Pomeranian. Mm. I love that it's a Pomeranian. And we're just gonna jump into a new game. Let's do it. Uh, oh, selection. Gotta start with Pomeranian. Okay. Always. I'll probably play as a cat later. So I, gotta, I gotta try that thing out. Well, there are cats. There are different kinds of animals in this game. There are. There are funny, you should mention <laughs> different animals because there just so happen to be different animals yeah. in this video game. That's so... Is that a spoiler? You blew my mind. It's, we, we, we spoil it's in the fun. game? You can also pee on things. You can pee yeah. on stuff? I mean, if you're an animal. Yeah. As well. I mean, why I not? I told you, it's post-apocalyptic post like <laughs> Pomeranian survival simulator, so you're gonna pee on some stuff. The only time you're gonna get to that is if you're an animal or an old person, so... <laughs> uh, so oh. basically, like, so what this game is, is, like really hard to describe like it's kind of like a roguelike but kind of not at the same time um it's like a what are what is that oh those are rabbits are little chicks there's yeah, so many kinds of animals in this game Murdering do as dogs birds. do it's baby birds uh yeah so but like eat em. i don't know tokyo apocalypse and the all the terms. animals from all the zoos <laughs> got let out. And, and that is the technical term. That's basically the story of this game. And you play as our hero, the Pomeranian. Because it is the scariest dog. Do you have a name? In the world. Uh, no. Let's name him. Uh, what should we name him? We should name him. I feel like I keep staring at the fluffy tail, so we should just name him Fluffy Tail. All right. Sounds pretty uh, Sounds. aggressive. Okay. Yep. It's Strikes it's fear. Some, yeah. Some real Doggy fear. Doggy dog world. Don't Deep mess with Fluffy soul. Tail. I'm gonna eat this baby. <laughs> Don't chicken. mess with Fluffy Tail. Um, so yeah, you're like you're just surviving. Really, is the goal of oh, the game. Chicken. Um, you get hungry. You get thirsty. You mate. Hey. Um, you get puppies. Yeah, you get puppies. You gonna chase that bunny? Puppy Pomeranian. Get nah. the rabbit. Oh. He's too fast for me. I'm I can sleeping. get this one though. Boom! Oh, I'm sleeping. It's so violent. He was just taking a nap. Well, <laughs> now he's taking a nap forever. Hey, he gave he you a present. He helped you out. In case okay. you haven't noticed already, this game's super weird. Well, it's Japanese. A little Why would bit think strange. That? Um, yeah, like you, like you, li like literally the whole game is you like pee on stuff, you hump other dogs. And kill things like. So it's like every other video game. It's really. It's pretty yeah. much like any other video game. People are like, oh, like, like, what's the story? Like, I don't know. There isn't one. There really isn't <laughs> one. Like, you just peeing on stuff. Um, so Stay I got this over. list of challenges I can do, and that's how I unlock new animals. Um, how many different kinds of animals are there? Uh, yeah. So right now I'm trying to defeat the beagle boss in okay. Shibuya Shop District, <laughs> which is where. Okay, cool. No I know where that is. Um, so, oh man, it's getting away. Run. So uh, my my first Pomeranian only has 15 years to live. All right. So what I need to do initially is um, pee on stuff, claim territory, and once I've claimed an entire zone, which is like this thing right here, mm -hmm. uh, I can I can mate. I can hump another animal and make tiny animals. 
Uh, so. P.S. That's 15 dog years, right? Uh, yeah. Well, like, there's a little, year, yeah. Mm -hmm. Counter going up at the top. See, I just survived year three. Out of that, we've been playing this game for three years. Yep. So. And every year, like, stuff happens to the environment, like toxicity or heat or something. Crazy like, I think stuff. right now it's really hot. So now if I leave a body out and don't eat it, it can get spoiled. If it gets spoiled, oh, no. I got take apocalypse, damage. Oh, man. Uh, oh. Ooh. Uh. Oh. Did he just throw he you off like you. that? You let him punk you? Yeah. He got bunsed. Yeah. And so uh, when I eat things, I gain rank. Okay. Uh, well, I guess... We'll go back, come back to explaining this when we go to industry news with this guy. He's gonna, yeah, just he's gonna, gonna hop up real be quick. right back. Get on over. Anyway, uh, get away. informed on some video games. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey everybody, I'm Nick. And I'm Faraz. And this is your industry news. This November, fans of the popular Ratchet & Clank series will be able to add yet another game to their Clank Banks. Ratchet & Clank Into the Nexus has been confirmed for release on November 12th. The game represents the ending segment to the future saga that has taken place on Sony's PlayStation 3. To some gamers' disappointment, Into the Nexus is being billed as a short, mini-iteration into the series. Insomniac has stated that it's only meant to serve as a concise, high-quality farewell to the current generation. Grand Theft Auto Online was released this past Tuesday, and like most online launches, it's been a bumpy start. Users have been experiencing a plethora of issues that include a failure to connect to servers, general freezes, issues with Rockstar's social club, and some have even encountered corrupted saves that bleed over into the game's story mode, making it inaccessible. Good thing is, the update's only 60, 60 megabytes, so most of your time should be wasted waiting to connect to Rockstar servers. But if the iFruit app was any indication to the launch of GTA Online, these issues should have come as no surprise, especially with those record-setting sales. Company layoffs are running rampant in the gaming world. Sega of America has reported significant layoffs in the past week due to a necessary restructuring of the company. They say that the shift was required to deal with the ever-changing conditions of the gaming industry. In related news, a recent report writes that Capcom is in the process of laying off around half of its European staff. This comes hot on the heels of a significant re reduction in their American branch as well. They are also claiming that a change of structure was needed. At least the newly unemployed workers will have the opportunity to take out some of that misplaced aggression on their old mascots in next year's Super Smash Brothers. Valve has filed for a Half-Life 3 trademark in Europe, which many have been taking as a hint to a long-awaited sequel. Just last week, Valve announced a new OS for Steam, hardware to host it, and even a controller that looks like it was designed by Dr. Dre. So logically, the development of games should follow. Now this could just be a precautionary measure to prevent other companies from taking the name to do as they please, but it's warming news nonetheless. Half-Life 3 confirmed? Xbox One has had a bit of a rough run in the marketing department as of late. In an effort to repair the initial impression that their next-gen console had on the gaming world, Microsoft is taking to the road and touring the United States. At each stop on the tour, Microsoft will allow gamers to get a hands-on experience with the new product. They are surely hoping that some quality time with their brainchild will help warm the community to the idea of a purchase. It's a lot like that movie, A Walk to Remember. The popular high school boy, you, will be forced to hang out with the socially unaccepted Mandy Moore, Xbox One. After not getting to know each other, you will no doubt ride off into the sunset like they did, I think. I never did see the ending of that movie. Either way, the tour will stop in Austin on October 31st through November 2nd, and it's first come, first serve. Naughty Dog has officially announced their DLC lineup for The Last of Us. The first will be the Abandoned ter Territories multiplayer map pack, which will be out within the month. Each map features its own unique element, such as dynamic environment and vertical layouts. The second will be a campaign-based add-on, which fe features characters already introduced in the main story, but no details on who we'll be playing as. However, this won't be released until December or January. The third DLC will be another multiplayer map pack, but all we know is that it'll be available early next year. Also, 60 new customization items have been added and are available now for season pass holders. Well, I'm Faraz. And I'm Nick. And, and that has been your industry news. Let's get back to the games. Hey guys, hey. welcome back to uh, BGHL. Well, you're still watching yeah. it. But uh, welcome back to Tokyo Jungle, I should say. Still killing stuff. Yeah, uh, I'm part. trying to kill stuff right now so I can woo over my potential mate because she won't like me unless I'm killed. Yeah. 
Unless I've made my name in Shibuya. <laughs> Alright, I think this might do it. Oh, no. Oh, You're no. like that. You're like that kid who has English class with that hot girl. Like, she so, doesn't know your so name. So, to impress her, he murders yeah. his classmates? Exactly. <laughs> right in front of her. And so now she knows your name. She's just like, oh. Oh, you're that kid yeah. that just murdered everybody. Just so you everybody. know, that works every time. Yeah. Just letting you know. Pro tip. Works every time. Just murder the competition. <laughs> even if they're not, like... Actual competition. Even if they're not... Even if they're a chicken, like... Yeah. And you're a Pomeranian. Gotta get those chickens. That's competition, I think, for me. And... The flowers. I'm stealth up on this festive. thing right here. Oh, oh, oh. Boom! He's stealth. unsuspecting sleeping animals. You gotta go stealth still. You gotta get up one more rank and I can get that. The prime female. It's like solid Pomeranian. Metal, metal gear. Oh. Uh, is that a tree? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is like super after the apocalypse. Yeah. So stuff <laughs> like overgrown. Oh, no, I don't oh. want that one. So is there, yeah. is there a platforming mm -hmm. aspect of this? Uh, yeah, kind of. Like, um, some of the zones are like really vertical, so you have to like platform around. It's okay. not like super precision, precision mm -hmm. platforming or anything. All right, now I'm in a new zone, so maybe there's more animals. Nope, there's almost no animals. That little meat right. meter there tells you how many animals there are. There's a meat meter. So I'm guessing all cars in Tokyo are white. That's what it looks like. Or radiation probably like takes off the colors. So I there's didn't nowhere. See that. Wow. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, looks right. like he could pee on something. Just need one. Sometimes you don't have enough pee. <laughs> when you Sometimes need to pee. there's just nothing left to give. Alright, screw it. I'm just gonna take this not prime female. Gotta lower your standards. I know. Yeah. So like if you um there's like th I think three different classes of females. Um and uh, depending on what kind of what class of female you mate with, it'll affect the uh, the quality of your yeah average female. Did you, you just do it right one. there? That's it? No, no. no. Is there oh. one called a bad female? Yeah, uh, the bad one has like fleas and everything. That's really sad. And so like, so your kids will have fleas, oh. and then so when you're wandering around, like occasionally they'll just stop to itch, <laughs> and so like you could be in the middle of a fight and, and they'll stop to wow. itch. Stop to itch. And I just failed a bunch of challenges. That's why you should always bathe daily. Man. Yeah, the importance of hygiene, friends. I waited too long to kill the beagle boss. No, I failed that one. Um, now just <laughs> all my challenges are locked out. Nice. Awesome. Great. Complete all challenges. <laughs> well, we can do that. Can't do that. Nope. <laughs> um, well, I might just switch to the cat then. Do it. It's cat time. Yeah. The best animal. It's pretty neat. That's a bold statement. High budget. It's a uh, true intro bold there. Statement. I don't think cats are better than dogs. You are crazy. You no. Know. Dogs are better. Oh uh, yeah. Later. So there's tons of animals in this game. Um, like uh, there's there's really two classes. There's uh, carnivores, Pomeranians, cats, pigs. I what about monkeys? Pigs. Uh, monkeys. Wolf. Monkeys are on the I don't think you can be monkeys in here. I want to be a sloth. Be you can be a lion, you can be a hippo. And then there's herbivores. And herbivores play like totally differently than uh, carnivores do. They're more stealth based because uh, they, they get their energy from eating plants, not animals. That's the name. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so the whole time when you're playing, you kind of like sneak around uh, all the. Because predators are after you this time, you're not a predator. So. Uh, you get, like sneak through the bushes and stuff and try and get to plants. I find herbivores a lot harder to play and frankly a lot less fun. So I'm just gonna win this cat. Cat! Oh, what? What? There's only one kind of cat. Cats. Oh. There's like different skins of that cat or? I'm gonna get the black cat skin. Okay, nice. Uh, that should work. be hard to see. Yeah. Alright. Uh really long unlock animation. Cat. And then there's also gear you can equip to your like animals. Gear? Like straight up like like RPG style gear like you can strap that to a cat. Like a um, vision. Like uh I found like a baseball cap for my Pomeranian and it and it straight up just puts the baseball cap on the dog. I wanna see that. Uh, let's see if I can items. 
When it gets dark, can you equip a flashlight? Boom! Light? Yes! Oh, what? <laughs> Leave that there. That's so great. Straw That's hat. Perfect. Oh, let's see what else I have. Hip hop <laughs> shirt. Okay. I like this. That's perfect. Kitty paws. <laughs> this cat is decked out. This cat's ready to go. Try to pee on some stuff. Now you can get all the lady cats. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. And yeah, that'll like affect your stats and everything. Um, in a good way, I hope. Let's see what. Uh, attack bonus for having the hip hop <laughs> shirt on. You're more intimidating. I don't think, I think that's hat some, and that's paws actually do anything, but the hip hop shirt definitely increases my attack, so that's cool. And so that's just how like the progression of this game works. Like you keep dying constantly, but eventually you'll get like these little bonuses that'll help you out your next round. Like, so like I found the hip hop shirt, so now I'm gonna be a little bit better. So the next time I come in, maybe where maybe I died before, that little boost of attack will get me up. That'll get me the next animal, which will be stronger, and I'll be able to keep progressing. So it's a slow, slow progression, but. We got a gangsta cat now. Yeah, straw hat. <laughs> Oh, we gotta name the cat. Um. Oh, no, don't. Oh, oh, the chicks. Oh, oh the chicks. Are dead. The baby chicks. Okay. Like that, the hat conceals the killing. <laughs> Just like hides it. Modest oh, no. cat. Oh. 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 Like multi kill. <laughs> yeah. Eat all this. What are my objectives, first of all, like so I don't like fail on my class? Eagle time. boss. No. Uh, okay, I've got 10 years to head to the spooky shop district. So, someone, someone keep an eye on my, uh, Your life. my time. Hey. So headphones, what? yes. You just okay. have headphones? So why do you get gifts just like when you kill one of them? <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Invented so, so. by people to listen to wicked tunes. <laughs> that is the item description. <laughs> <laughs> wicked tunes, not just tunes. So you're restricted to Japanese music? What? Is this like a Japanese hip hop cat? Or do you think he's like Kanye cat? Multicultural. I feel like this cat Diverse could cat. bust out some pretty sweet rhymes in the studio if given the chance <laughs> and the world was not over. Maybe that, that was his. for birds. Uh, yeah. Birds don't really get you that much, though. Birds kind of suck. Looks kind of cool, though. So are you oh, peeing man. on that? I was like, yeah. do cats do that? Uh, I didn't think cats maybe. did that. I mean, you also do the same thing. I think like you should put, like, a litter box there, and then, <laughs> then you can do it. Just placing the litter box claims the territory. See, what sucks is you can only drink out of a water hole, like, once. So I gotta find a new one. That does suck. That doesn't make sense. Hopefully. Maybe because you... Just swam in it. Contaminated. Like dirty it. cat. Radioactive cat. Because you got the kitty paws. Hey, it should be clean. This music's pretty. You it's guys pretty can't bumping. hear it, but. It's pretty bumping. It's. Uh, soundtrack's getting pumped. Pretty sure it was. See, like stuff produced. like this, you can. I think it was written uh, and produced by this cat. Platform up here. Oh. oh, okay. Oh, he was just sleeping. These oh, this is a fellow cat. Animals. I'm about to oh. cannibalize right now. Oh. Oh, it won't let you. It won't the let game you. won't let you cannibal, <laughs> cannibalize. That's pretty funny. There's more cats. Yep. Well, that Can't sucks. Now I'm not going to get any meat off. No competition. Just killing cats. Just taking out the competition. Yeah. That's true. I got to get those females. I got to get those prime females. Oh, the chicks. Oh, the chicks. Um, I'll pee on it. All right, I think. I think I've been mated by now. All right, yeah. It's getting hot. All right, I'll settle for. A Good thing you have your straw hat. Um, how All right, well we're about to go to a review of Paper Please by Connie. Uh, that's a pretty cool game. Yeah. Check it out. Let's do it. Greetings, comrades. Connie here with a review of the grim indie game Papers, Please, available on Mac on PC. Papers, Please captures the journey of a Border Patrol officer in a fictional post-war communist country called Artstovska. Now, I know what I'm about to say is going to turn you off, but stay with me. Papers, Please is really a puzzle game about bureaucracy. 
You're a paper push in the most literal sense. Passport, entry tickets, work visas, and more. As politics and policies get more complicated, so does your job. If a single detail is wrong on just one of those documents and you don't catch it, you will get fined. But like a real immigration officer, you can use some discretion and allow some people in or out of the country. You can take bribes, you can re reunite young couples or protect women from a human trafficking scheme, or allow a family to escape to the relatively stable Arstotzka together. You really feel like you have lives in your hands. But your actions will directly impact your family and their ability to survive. Rent is expensive, and sometimes if you've made too many arrows, you may have to forego heat or food in order to make ends meet. Do this too long, and your family may get sick and eventually die without help. There's a lot of tension in the game, despite how simple it looks, and I have to praise the game for giving players peeks of the surrounding environment through his job. You can join the rebellious star of NSIG as they try to overthrow the government, or you can try to keep your job and your family safe. Gameplay is extremely simple. As the days progress, documents get more and more complicated. You have to make sure seals are correct, that the issuing city is correct, that the numbers match, and there's just a lot to keep track of. But believe me when I say there's something very addictive about the whole experience. I found myself dreading the sound of a citation being printed out on my desk. Level design is simplistic, and every passing day adds more documents to keep track of. The interface is decidedly not smooth or efficient, with a rule book that you have to flip back and forth in in order to confirm their information as your potential immigrant waits and watches. But it works here. It's the point of the game to be inefficient and unhelpful, so I really can't fault it for that. And you can pay for upgrades in your station in order to create keyboard shortcuts, which I tended not to use much anyway. The whole game is extremely stylized. The grungy, off-color retro graphics purposely capture the atmosphere of a post-war communist country. The sound is to be praised. The heavy thump of the stamps, the low garble of the protagonist's voice over the loudspeaker, even the rough thumps of Dora's opening and closing really go a long way towards painting a picture. There are 20 different endings and an unlockable endless arcade mode. Each ending differs depending on the decisions you make in the game, like letting a potential terrorist in or barring the entry of an important diplomat. So the game definitely has a lot of potential replay value. But after you get a couple of endings, there really isn't that much of a desire to keep playing, because really, it's always been about the story, not the gameplay. And with that, let's break down the score. Story is wonderfully done, and it really helps that there's no verbal exposition to lay down the plot. Everything that you see through the story is done through newspaper headlines and the people you talk to. It's heavy and it's dark, but it's perfect for this game. Story gets a 10. Design is simple and the interface is sometimes inefficient, but in this game it really makes sense. Design gets an 8. Gameplay is straightforward and you can definitely tell it's a puzzle game. Still, it's got a very subtly addicting quality and I've accidentally spent hours analyzing documents. Gameplay gets an 8. Presentation is stunning. Every little aspect of the graphics and sound is there for a reason, and it's very good at drawing you in to our Scott Scott. Presentation gets a nine. The game has plenty of potential and places for replay value, but I can't say that many people are going to explore all 20 endings. I, for certain, only went for a few. Replay value gets a 7.5. So, I give Papers, Please an 8.5 out of 10. It's a great little game that really pulls you in. The story and presentation are compelling reasons to play this game alone. Glory, Hey guys, welcome hey. back. Uh, hey, hey. We're this just here, here in the Shibuya shop district, mm -hmm. peeing on stuff yep. as a cat. Uh, we're trying to track down the beagle boss. Mm -hmm. And uh, make that happen. We have 28 years to do that, so. How might, on earth are you going to get it done? Well, right. uh, Connie was talking. Peyton went ahead and mated with another cat. Oh, yeah, I mated with a. With a desperate female. Yeah. She had black hearts. Yeah. She had Jamie fleas. She had an STD. Yep. We can go ahead and say she had an she STD. She had an STD. Yeah. So now if I'm in a fight, sometimes I might have to scratch. That could be a deadly <laughs> mistake. She you got, have fleas got and that those itch. Not <laughs> Been killing stuff. Whoa! Oh. What? Chickens! They're probably running away from Beagle Boss. Go get it. So, chickens are still called flocks. Whoa! What's going what? on? That's... Oh! oh is that oh. the baby boss? He looks tough. He does look tough. Eagles are awesome. Ah, don't kill me. He's, don't got, kill me. he's got quite the stance, too. Here's... Oh. oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. <laughs> You're gonna this die! This is so bad. It's the alternate ending to Homeward Bound. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. All right, there's a way I can counter him. I just oh, yes. wait it out. Just hold on. Come on. 
It'll happen. I gotta time it like exactly right. He's not attacking. He's not. Oh, oh no, I'm dead. Just as you said it. I jinxed right. it. What's his health at? Oh, oh gosh. Uh -huh. This is bad. This is really bad. Uh, you just whack it with your tail? Oh. I'm oh. Dead. Wow. You're dead. Yeah, that's a boss. Mm hmm. One of you guys want to take a crack at it? I mean. You know you want to. I. Yeah. Channel your inner power if, you, if you want to watch me suck, this is a good way to do did it. You not, did you not just see me die? Like, oh, I mean, yeah, but you just got punked by a beagle. At least. You got a small beagle Tell there? Tell me what to do, and I'll do things. Uh, right now, just mash X a bunch. Okay. What? Well, not that well, X. Well, Maybe back out of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just said no. I don't want to submit my rank. I don't want to submit you that rank. Get on those leaderboards, man. Oh yeah, and like oh. it'll it'll do a timeline of your of your life and tell you what animals you killed and stuff. Okay, so yeah, survival of your uh, game. Uh huh. Pick player. Uh huh. And pick your animal. Um, is, is there anything else? I've only got those three right now. Oh, that's sad. I really want there to be a sloth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the bomb right now. Fluffy tail, back to you. Fluffy tail. Um, so okay. Move around with the left stick. Yeah. Um, right stick is to dodge. Okay. Uh, but it uses stamina. Okay. Um, squares to attack. Okay. And then okay, like uh, L one is to sneak. Uh, uh, okay. Hold it down. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh no. Uh, so so if you sneak up near an animal, uh -huh. you're gonna see like a little teeth icon. Yeah. And once that highlights red, you hit R one, and that that's how you do the clean kill. Okay. Okay. Let's go find things. Oh, how do I pee on things? Uh, circle. Oh, okay. Go. Just gonna pee on this real quick. Don't mind me. All right. Oh, that's a bird. Oh, how do I drink water? Oh, circle. I really see it. Nope. Well. Because you don't want to drink any water. Nope. Is he not drinking? Nope. It's weird. Nope. It's not thirsty. Oh, nope. there we go. Got it. Never mind. Got it. Haha. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, yeah, the one thing that really bugs me about this is like, if you go into grass, you, you automatically slower. sneak. Yeah. And so like sometimes I'll be trying to get away from an and animal, you'll start and sneaking. I'll just run into a little patch like, of grass. Oh! It's like Pokemon oh, where you challenges. try oh, to avoid the, the grass because there's Pokemon everywhere. Where do I go for the beagle boss? Uh, the beagle boss is in the the right zone. You're in a new zone now. Oh, okay. All right, see, boom, go. Uh, so what, what, oh, what, once what, it highlights what? red, that's when you. Oh. Oh, oh I see. I see. He's dead. Okay, so do I just? How do I? Oh. What was that? Got it. Got eat. it. Yeah. Got right? it now. See your hunger meter in the middle. Yeah. That'll go down and you'll start okay. to lose health. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Some grass. Oh, there's a pig. Is that a pig? That's a pig. Sneak up on that pig. Oh, no. Oh. If you oh. do it too early, he'll knock you off. Yeah, my bad. He'll fight you. Oh, are you kidding? He wants to fight? Oh, but he's bugged out, so. So. Oh, oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, shoot. Hey, you just died. What? Oh, well. That's how, that's how quickly you die in this game. That that pig just did me in. That. You wanna try? Yeah. Right, sure. How about that? Alright. Let's check out your that stats. That pig was vicious. I didn't know pigs could right, kill yeah, like that. I've never actually encountered a pig. Before. Hey, you still got points. Well, there, that that was your pig encounter for the day. You should submit this You're one welcome. to lead the boss. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, please do that. <laughs> uh, did you even survive a year? Don't think so. No. Oh. Mm. <laughs> it's alright. Alright. Alright, pick I your... guess we'll try a cat. I'm not gonna do deer. Who wants to be a deer? <laughs> Who wants to be a deer? Yeah, deers kinda suck. Start. I don't... <laughs> Why, like... Cuts how does this make sense? <laughs> Tokyo Jungle. The urban jungle. White screen. White <laughs> screen. Oh. Yeah, this is not <laughs> uh, okay, so while he gets his control bearings, yeah. we're gonna cut to a quick commercial, and we'll be back momentarily. Uh huh. Oh. Stay Hey. Welcome back to Video Game Hour Live. We just killed a chick. We did. A uh, bird, not a female. Yeah. Yeah. It's 
an important and, distinction. Uh, yep. Let's check this out. Maybe yeah. even the most important. Watch this. Hey, that guy's still sleeping after I killed this shark. Uh, so we're trying to cannibalize as a cat, and we figured out how to pick up corpses. So. But we can't pick, pick up, up those corpses. Oh. SPS. Pick up those rabbits. Russian, Russian break. Yeah. All right. A chicken God, party has started <laughs> in, <laughs> what? Oh, in yeah. Yamanote line. How do we get to the chicken party? Chicken uh, party. Hit start. Where, uh, hit triangle? Uh, Yamanote line. It's up in the top. Wait. No, go back up. Uh, the full bar. It's top. Oh, yeah. The so that's the very top zone. Oh, that's a little far. With chicken parties going chicken on. Chicken party. Oh, Don't want to miss out on that chicken party. What? We set a waypoint. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So You're your hungry. toxicity on You're the right hungry. there is increasing because they are. I'm hungry. Poisonous. You're hungry. Eat. I don't get over that. Oh, um, that okay. Okay. So if right. your toxicity is, reaches 100, I'm pretty sure you die. Oh, the chick. I don't think it like decreases oh, health. I think you just straight go. up die. Um, right. And if the air is toxic. Go. Then you only have a certain amount of time to eat bodies whenever they're whenever they're killed. You're still hungry. Oh, well, there's no food around. Oh, oh, chick. Quick, eat it before it's toxic. Uh, is it that fast? Oh yeah, it's pretty fast. Really? Yeah. That's excessive. Yeah, so like it sucks because I've been like in situations where I've gotten in like like ten animal fights, but it's in a toxic zone, oh. so I can't like eat any of it. Yeah. So I'll. Like there will be just ten bodies right there, and I'll be oh, starving. That sucks. Flowers, I like their little flowers. flowers are me. They're so festive. All right, where's everybody at? Hello, apocalypse. You still got one more plot to pee on. Nice see that? See, it's purple. You say Oh it. no. Now your toxicity you just jumped like twenty points. Nice. Uh, that, that plot right there on the mini map. You see it right there, the red one. Yeah. Uh, that's one that needs to be peed on. And once you Go pee. On that, then you'll be able to bang. All right. Bring on the honeys. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's time to find a lovely lady. So no women what around? Seems like. Oh, uh, there's the hearts on the main map. Oh. Do I gotta go to pig territory? Uh, no. Because whenever, whenever you pee, uh, whenever you take over a zone, oh. the females only appear in that zone. Okay. Oh. There's nothing to eat. What was that noise? Oh, oh desperate oh. female. Oh, black hearts. Desperate. No one you likes clingy women. Too bad, you're stuck. You're hitched. You're gonna be right, hitched. So what do I do? Uh, so now you see that little circle icon on the right of the mini map? Yeah. Uh, that's the nest. Um, this zone only has one. Um, other zones have multiple nests. You're really hungry. Yeah, there's no food. Nope. Yeah, he's killed it all. Oh. Um, but if you mate, then you'll be fine, so you should probably just do that. <laughs> Go! Um, oh yeah, drink water, too. Oh, I found drink. Oh. I'm good. Close. I'm good. Oh. Die from hunger. Um, and if, uh, and then the, the home, that's what you use to mate. And you can also use the save points, so like, if you just want to quit. Instead of How do we get up there? You gotta jump. Alright, what? Have to jump, bruh. Jump. Okay. That's me. Oh, should probably take this in the hay. Okay, <laughs> <for that. laughs> I like how it does the wolf noise like you're <laughs> a cat. All right, now you are a baby kitty. Okay. Oh, you need to you need to put on your hip hop clothes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fix it. How do we do that? Items. Yeah. Put uh, on your hip hop shirt. Uh, Straw hat. Oh, okay, it's so these they have durability. I didn't realize that. So you can only use them a certain amount of times. Well, we're just gonna... Yeah, whatever. Deck Turn out. On. Throw that crap on. Kitty paws! Alright. Check now it. you're a super tiny kitten. Oh. Meaning you are super weak. With some swag. Oh, hey. With some swag. Back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Get over Maybe here. Maybe he's gonna fast. The stride is so little. All right, bird. Oh, come on, bird. So, I only got one life from that uh, exchange. All right, we're about to uh, cut to a review by Smiles yeah. of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. 
So, enjoy it. Hey, hey, this is Smiles here with a new review. This year, Nintendo celebrates Luigi, the last of the two Mario Brothers, with the Year of Luigi. And what better way to kick off the celebration than with a sequel to Luigi's Mansion? Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon was released earlier this year in March for the Nintendo 3DS. Luigi's couch potato days are rudely interrupted when Professor E. Gat sucks him in the television set. With the Dark Moon destroyed, the once peaceful ghosts of Eversade Valley are running amok, and E. Gad gives a reluctant Luigi the task of restoring the Dark Moon. It's quite hilarious to see a cowardly Luigi take on ghosts with his poltergeist. While the plot twist is fairly predictable, Dark Moon's story shows Nintendo can make a lighthearted adventure out of any genre, including horror. The game differs in structure from its predecessors. While the original GameCube title tasks you with capturing portrait ghosts in a single manner, Dark Moon breaks up the game into five different manners. Each mansion is then broken up into several missions. At the end of each mission, you're given a ranking based on how much money you collected, health you lost, and time it took you to complete it. The rankings don't give you much, but the money collected helps upgrade your poltergeist and flashlight. While initially the missions are short, they later can take a good 30 minutes to complete. The breakup in missions allows you to take a break when needed, which is perfect for a handheld. How Luigi catches ghosts is quite simple. By holding the A button, you can charge your flashlight, wait for the right moment to let go, and BAM! A sudden flash of light will give you enough time to start sucking the ghosts into your vacuum cleaner. An important aspect in Luigi's Mansion was controlling both Luigi and the Poltergeist with two joysticks. The 3DS doesn't have two joysticks, so how does players maintain the fluidity of control? Dark Moon allows players to either use gyro controls or X and B to move the poltergeist around. As a fan of traditional buttons, it is nice to have options. While not necessarily as easy as two joysticks, Dark Moon's controls are fairly intuitive. The game's challenge is fair for the most part. Most of the missions focus on solving puzzles to advance in the mansion. Just roam around and do stuff until EGAD calls you. Trust me, it gets more annoying than y Youngster Joey. What tends to make missions long are hidden objects that can only be revealed with a dark light. Simply hold Y while walking around and you could probably find what you're looking for without much hassle. The worst part of this game was the shift from puzzle solving to combat near the end of the fourth mansion. This created an unfair difficulty spike very late in the game and can easily catch you off guard. I wouldn't say that Dark Moon uses 3D in a grand aspect like Super Mario 3D Land, but the game has solid presentation. The ghosts are off the wall and the mansions stick to their themes well. The music cues and changes between rooms add a nice touch. I wasn't necessarily blown away by the presentation, but it holds itself together. Besides the main story, there's multiplayer mode in Scarescraper. In Scarescraper, you and a team of friends work together to defeat ghosts and advance to the next floor. The mode is fun even with one game card. With multiple game cards, you can meet up with people online. There are also a ton of unlockables and hidden booths, but they don't offer much reward for all the time and trouble spent. I mean, if you like 3D trophies of Luigi, by all means go for it. Quite frankly, I just don't have the time to sit down and fully complete this game. Here's my final verdict on Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Story gets an 8. It's cute and charming. Gameplay gets a 9. The controls are tight and the puzzles were fair without being too easy. Design gets an 8. While the mission breakup is perfect for handhelds, the difficulty spike certainly is unwelcome. Presentation gets an 8.5. I wish there was a bigger emphasis on 3D. Still, the music is quite good and the ghosts are hilarious. Replay value gets an 8. There's a ton of secrets to discover, and Scarescraper offers a fun multiplayer mode. The awards for completing this game, however, are hardly worth the investment. Overall, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon gets an 8.3. It's Luigi's time to shine, and Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon gives the lesser-known brother a well-deserved spotlight. Hmm. Oh, hi. Hey guys, welcome back. Everything's you, kicking off over this here. This is like, we found an ox. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, they're, they're oh, fighting. They're fighting. Oh, oh. That's so cool. Just oh. watch, watch oh, this happen. He's charging. I'm just going to stand back because Eat I don't whichever wanna... one loses. <laughs> we just don't determine the winner of this battle. Oh. 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 Hey, hey, hey. oh. I didn't know ox are aggressive. They are. Oh. 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 He just slapped no. it with his horn. Oh, they're getting at it. 
Maybe if you swoop in and kill that dog, you could, yeah. you could eat that real quick. And then just leave they, it Are they? <laughs> they're having a standoff. Yeah, they are. Oh, get, get him, get him, him. Get oh, him. Nice. Yeah. Are right, coming for that ox. Wait, should I? <laughs> Don't yeah, go for yeah, the ox. Yeah. I've killed a cow before <laughs> as, as a Pomeranian. All right. Where you at, ox? You just, just got to get that sneak kill, though, like the cellar really way. From behind. Oh. Oh, that did not keep keep hitting. Okay, yeah. So with bigger animals, oh when God. you do the sneak attack, if you tap on one afterwards, you'll keep doing damage. Okay. Oh my God. So like, you you can hide in the woods right now and do another one. Oh, he wants. Oh my it. gosh. Just don't let him like, see you. See now he thinks you're in there. Gonna so sneak up. Oh. Oh. That didn't work. That didn't work. Did he just kill me? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's an ox. Like totally <laughs> demolished you. Well. You thought it'd be agile. You're a kitten. Like, is this accuracy that kidding. good? All right, we'll pass it like on. Like ten times your size. Are you okay? Well, he didn't even try to stomp on me. He just bashed me with his head, which I guess should you be see effective. those horns. I, that was you crazy. were a tiny like house cat. You could not that ox? kill an ox. No way. Unless you stealth. Well, or your hip hop hat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's I think that's what it was. I yeah, got that's a good good hat. score. I think. I think it's a good score. It's a lot of numbers. Yeah. Right. I didn't have many numbers. I'm gonna play as the deer. Okay. Deer. Sika. Start. I feel like, like there should be an area. Like the only working building with electricity is just flashing the word start. Like. That's the last uh, so I feel like logo alive. I feel like it should be used <laughs> for more important things. All right. So, these plants. Oh, I'm like, why are you eating plants? You just ranked up from that apple. Yeah, plants. The advantage of plants is you rank up super quick with them. Unlike meats. Success. That is a pretty big vertical. What? What? Did you just kick him? Some violent deer. <laughs> hey man, I gotta protect my territory. Looks like I think the jumping is animation is probably my favorite part of this game. <laughs> it's pretty accurate. Yeah. Like that the plants come off leaf by leaf, petal by petal. It seems so dainty. It's just not. So we have, is there any sweet gear for the deer? Uh, oh, yeah. I might. Let's see. I've only really played as them like once or twice. <laughs> oh, okay. Straw I guess hat. Sure, sure, okay. That's cool. Okay. Seems more fitting. It's pretty high up. <laughs> kitty paws. These are some kitty deer. paws. Man. Oh. Uh, some, one hundred percent danger. After me. Got music. Oh, it's like crow. Crow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Don't let him eat you. <laughs> he just stopped him. Get out of my territory, rabbit. Get out of here. Oh. Hey. So yeah, rabbits are like. Even rabbits are tough for a deer. They're pretty fragile. They're so majestic. Even with the new pop hat. Oh, we need the name of the deer. Bambi. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Oh, my mistake. It's a survivor. No, we'll get to Bambi once once we mate and paradise oh, yeah. and so we gotta kill your mom. <laughs> hey. It's See, I don't really know how to use. Shampoo. I don't know how to use those like those one use items. Oh, my kitty paws broke. Oh well. I'm not sure how to use one use items. Can you select? No. I'll just hit every button, see what Do happens. It. Game over. Oh, okay, okay. Cool. Gets rid of fleas. Okay, that's useful. Oh, am I about to rank up? Yeah! Boss rank. It's a straw hat. 
Oh. Oh. Hopefully those. they don't. Don't turn around. Oh. 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 Some pig dogs. Oh. oh, I'm about to get murdered. Those dogs must be huge in real life to be that proportionally sized to that deer. Like well, it's, like a, it's, like a, it's like a baby deer. It's a baby deer. Kinda. Either of y'all like to take the reins? She want to do it? You want to? Nope. Okay. All right. Are you sure? <laughs> Not right now. Go through another round of actually doing stuff. And then I'll try and learn how to do stuff too. Respectable. Just, just pee on stuff. Yeah. Like, that's, that's how you win. But then I got killed by pigs. Just don't pee on pigs. I wasn't yeah. trying to pee on the pig. I was trying to eat the pig. Just don't, don't attack oxen. Mm, let's try the pomerade. I try the kit. Oh yeah. Okay. White screen. Oh. Oh, Somebody's right there, sleeping that already. That fluffy tail. Am I hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. Uh, well, plus it also increases your rank, which helps you mate. So check it out. You can carry yeah. this thing. Yeah. Hey, around. show you to your friends. Look, <laughs> look what I can do. Hey, come back. Look at your friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat him in front it's of him. So them. twisted. I really wish you could cannibalize. That would make so much better. <laughs> Go back and pee real quick. Go up on that balcony, there's some animals right there. Up here? Probably chickens. Oh. Chickens? Not good with this. Uh, chickens give you a lot of points. Oh, they're sleeping. Oh, I want rabbits. Sleeping rabbits. They're snoozing. Oh, no, come back, come back. No. Uh -huh. well, I mean, he's trapped up here. Unless he runs down that one. Oh, really? I didn't thing realize. that he's about to run down. Oh. Oh, is he over there? Yeah. Yeah, he's running down. Oh, we're going to get him. Challenge. Well, we're gonna get this. Now you just gotta get two more clean kills and then bang another dog. What are those noises? It's probably a crow. Maybe. Like we right. snuck up to pee. Well. Don't want to know what's coming. Mm -hmm. Don't want another ox to come out of nowhere. Yeah. That thing looks hey, there's two awesome, of them. Though. This guy. Hey. Oh yeah. What do I got? Oh, put, put that it on. on. Put, put it, it on. on. <laughs> All right. Yes. <laughs> oh. Spin him around. Spin him around. Looks like a dealer. <laughs> Let's get this. <laughs> yes. All right. And we got our jersey. Pop shirt, yep. Our and pop. our kicks. Got some kitty kicks. Kitty kicks. Are we pee here? Yeah, I pee here. Look at Fluffy Tail. Yeah, the, the red ones are the ones you haven't peed on. Okay. So you okay. just gotta go to the right. Okay. The zone ends pretty much right here. Here's my stamina. Okay. Guess I'll drink some water. Mm -hmm. And then just pee it right back out. All right. Circle of life. I was about to say that. <laughs> not, that. not quick enough. Uh, this is a quick-witted television program. I'll be better next time. Promise. Oh, there are just dropping food everywhere. Topical references. And All over the place. We're just like... You're not going to see me coming. What is that? such good comedic timing. Oh, yeah. All right. It's on point. Oh, hey, okay, guys. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's have a chat real quick. Mm -hmm. it. Oh. Hey, what's up? Hey. <laughs> He's like, why are you in my way? Where's everybody going? Uh, oh. Don't you see my sun visor? <laughs> Don't mess with Demands me. Demands attention. I wonder if that's going to get more uh, better stats when it's hot. You know, that might. Like now. You should check that. <laughs> like now. That would actually be super useful. Oh no! Oh. This. Oh. 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 You got. You got it. You, you I believe in you. You just you gotta, gotta do it. Just gotta be sneaky. Oh, oh. nice. 
Pomeranian Success. versus Beagle. Gotta eat him quick. Superior species is a Pomeranian. Cleanses. Eat him before he turns purple. Hey. Present. Bottled water. Okay. Well, I can just drink out of a pond. Yeah, but there's no ponds, there's no food. You're just like, oh man. Gotta reach into my Pomeranian pouch. <laughs> What's this, Ozarka? Grab this bottle of water. How much bottle water could there be left? It's probably all I really hey guys. need to. Mm -hmm. Wake up. Wake up. No, 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 no. Oh, oh those cats are gonna fight you. Oh, no, no, no. They don't wanna fight. They don't, fight. <laughs> they don't wanna fight the Pomeranian Not after advisor. you killed Cat Boss. Not after these kitty paws that I got going on. You came the scourge of the Tokyo jungle. Hey, veteran. Yeah, now you just gotta get the boss, and you can get the prime female, not the average, not, not the, the desperate, the prime, the prime one. Not that black heart. Hey guys, that didn't work. You guys going? Come back. All right, it's getting pretty dark out here. So did I get that area down? Yeah. Yeah. Go back in there and Let's find some females. Kill some more stuff, get the boss. Yeah. Where's he at? Where's he at? I think he's up above because oh. on the upper, upper level. Where's this guy at? That guy. Right there. Right there. Oh, oh he's shoot. fighting. Not, Not today. Alright. I think I proved my manliness. Oh, you gotta, there's a little... Oh, yeah. Something about the boar. Saw that. Read that. Sleeping. Can't be sleeping in this oh, cutthroat world. Give it a lap chicken. Hey. Another gift. Discount oh, pet food. Eat that. That'll be sweet. How do I, how do I get to it? Uh, I think it's, um, it's up on the deep end. Yeah. See what it does. Oh, okay, never mind. It just right, fills on your points. There's our mating bed. Come back to that. Soundtrack. And the bunny. You gotta stay awake. All right. I didn't realize Pomeranians listen to we'll come back club to these guys. music. Yeah. Oh, they're appearing on the other side what now. What else would they listen to? Excuse me, guys. How far? Got me sneaky, man. I'm going for the for the ladies. Wait, uh, ho hopefully. Wait, let's be sneaky, because we don't want those desperate women. You don't want the desperate women. Wait, I can't see anything. Oh, hold oh. on. If you get a little closer. Oh, it's Black desperate. Get run, out, get out, run. get out, Bill. Okay. Good thing we're sneaky. You want to run into one of those. <laughs> Yeah, I've done that so many times. I was like, okay, female. Be, no. Like, I'll spend all this time getting the boss <laughs> rank so I can get the prime female and then end up getting the this guy at? one. Hey, buddy. Clean kill. What was that? I don't even know what I just ate. Rabbit. Okay. All right, let's find the, the good chicks. Uh, you passed by her earlier. I even know that. That mini-map dog. I like the bark with the jump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Pomeranian jump animation is just like my favorite thing about this game. Just the arms <laughs> spread out. <laughs> All right. What is that? Do it. Too. Go. Oh, it is? Oh, they're yeah. both desperate. That's lame. Uh, I've never had that happen before. <sighs> Do I have a choice? All right. Let's shag. You have fleas. You can use your I hope flea she knows. stuff. I hope she knows it. Oh yeah, do you have flea stuff? Yeah, it's in the, I saw it. Oh wait, should, so, so uh, wait, use it once, you, once you've made it. Yeah, okay, I'll do it first. Hey, well, get up here. <laughs> she'll get up there. Okay. <laughs> Can't do this by myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, not safe. <laughs> like Are you trotting serious? over. <laughs> this is really about to happen. Right? Okay. I was like, what? <laughs> so I have plus one, plus two. Okay. What's this? 
Are these your parents? Yeah, those are your parents. Yeah, we should just chill there and then they'll die immediately after. It's a good to know. Okay, then let's get our. Flee stuff. Is it? Oh, you don't oh, have flee no? stuff. Oh. No. I guess that was someone else. Should have used it. Oh, well. Oh, we're up here. Alright. Oh. We got a pet yeah. cap. Put that on. Do it. Pet cap? Put that on. Oh, yes. Yes. Well, yep. Alright, well, unfortunately, that is all the time we have with Hardcore Pomeranian Post Apocalyptic Survival Simulator, aka Tokyo Jungle. Mm. Alright. But, uh. right off the top. Yep. But, uh, we'll be back next week with another video game just as exciting. Um. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, on tstv.com, texastudenttv.com, uh, on Twitch. Uh, follow us if you're watching us on there right now. And uh, thanks again for watching. Yeah. We'll be back next week. See you later. If you want to leave, probably should. Yeah.